All right, and we're back. Today's Thanksgiving day. I am back home visiting my family. It feels good to be in the place where I grew up. I'm not gonna lie. So I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania near Scranton, PA. I'm sure many of you know of it because of the office. And it certainly is interesting living here. It's kind of like living in the South, but further up North. You definitely get different types of people, more um, sort of, you know what, let me not stereotype people here. Let me just say that some of the characters you get growing up where I grew up are pretty interesting. And so it's always a trip for me coming back because I always find myself encountering a person or series of people who just kind of make me go, wow, you exist. And there's a specific gym that I go to in my hometown and it's a great gym. I've been going there since I was like 19. And every time I'm home visiting for the holidays, that's like my go-to gym. I mean, I was just there all this week, but I was thinking about how at almost exactly this time last year, it was the day after Thanksgiving, I had one of the strangest, worst experiences at a gym ever. Probably the strangest, weirdest I've ever had. So I want to tell that story since we're coming up on the one year anniversary of it. And I also want to preface by saying that this really has like nothing to do with the gym itself. I'm not going to specify where it is, but you know, if there's anybody out there who happens to go to the same gym that I do back home, just know that I love the gym. This was just a very very circumstantial sort of thing. Anyway, moving on. So like I said, it was the day after Thanksgiving and I wanted to go get a workout in, you know, burn off some of that Thanksgiving food, you know, some of those goodies. It's kind of hard for me to get through a Thanksgiving without completely gorging myself. And last year was no different. So <laughs> I showed up and immediately the guy working at the front, you could tell was just not in a good mood. And I try not to take it personally because I assumed that he probably had a long day, it was super packed. I'm sure a lot of people are hitting the gym the day after Thanksgiving. So I didn't take it personally, but the dude was kind of a dick, you know, kind of talking to me like I was just an inconvenience to him. Of course, I'm in a small town, so part of me thinks like, is this guy homophobic? But it's more likely not because how would he even know just by this little interaction that we're having that I was gay. So I just chopped it up to him being in a bad mood given what the day probably offered him or had offered him. So actually I'm remembering now that I showed up to the gym and there was nobody at the desk initially and I wanted to buy a little like pre-workout bottle. So I was waiting for somebody to show up. And so when the dude finally showed up, he was acting as if I was kind of like an inconvenience to him and just kind of being an ass, you know? So like I said, I kind of was just like, whatever, he's probably having a long day. Not many people working at the gym, but there's a lot of people working out, so I'm just gonna let it go and start my workout. As I was working out, I was in the middle of doing dumbbell curls and this guy at some point started vacuuming and was vacuuming around my feet, which I found pretty annoying. And it kind of just like, irritated me, right? At this point, I was kind of like, all right, well, whatever. It is what it is. He's doing his job, but can you not wait for me to move away? But it just kind of annoyed me. This whole situation was just kind of irritating to me. And ultimately, I finished my workout and I went to the locker room. And at this point in my life, I was using the sauna after pretty much every single workout that I did. And so this time was no different. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get in that sauna. I'm gonna relax, be half naked, let the sweat flow over me. And I'm gonna do a little meditation to let go of the stress that I was trying to let go of in the workout, but instead got further exacerbated by this dude who was kind of being a dick. So I open up the sauna and there's a guy in there having a full blown conversation on his phone, which I thought was kind of weird, but he saw me coming in. He's like, all right, I guess I don't want to do this in here. So he left and I was left alone. And so I turn the lights off and I start doing deep breaths you know, checking in on my body, kind of starting my meditation out. And that ultimately led me to kind of doing just a normal breath tracking meditation where I count on the inhale, count on the exhale. And I was in a state of complete zen. Nothing could phase me. I felt my body relax, the tension leave, and it was just pure bliss. And 10 minutes into this meditation, really feeling relaxed in my flow state, out of nowhere, this older man, crashes through the door, flicks the light on and yells, wake up, time for school. And he's staring directly at me. I can't make this shit up. And so I am jolted out of my deep meditative trance to be greeted by someone who is the exact opposite of calm and peaceful. Not only that, he mindfully chose to interrupt my meditation to kind of shake me. And he said, wake up, time for school. Like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, I doubted he knew that I was meditating. He probably just saw me with my eyes closed and thought it'd be funny to do that shit, but it wasn't. So the light was on now and he was sitting next to me and he started to like snort breathe. It was like, kind of like, <laughs> 
And it was just disturbing. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to sit in there dealing with that anymore. So I was like, you know what? This isn't worth it. I'm going to get up and I'm going to leave. So as I'm grabbing my stuff, I noticed next to my locker on the little like tabletop next to the mirror, there's a little baggie, like a drug baggie with white powder falling out of it. You know what? I lived in LA for years and my first instinct was, oh my God, that's drugs. Especially because I know a lot of people who I grew up with, you know, in this area who definitely do drugs. And so my first thought was like, dang, I should probably tell somebody because I don't want anybody to see me next to this baggie while I'm collecting my stuff and think that it's mine. So, oh God. So I went to the front desk and I go up to the girl sitting there and I'm like, hey, you know, this is kind of awkward, but like there's this little baggie with white powder falling out of it. I don't really know what it is. I just figured I should tell you my first instinct was that it might be drugs and she kind of looks at me like uh i don't really know what to do and then she goes yo calling out to the guy who was an asshole earlier when i first got there and she was like this guy has to tell you something and then my first thought was like fuck now i'm faced with this guy again but whatever and so i told him exactly what i told her and he gives me the biggest eye roll you can imagine and i'm like oh god what did i do and he marches behind the desk and he pulls out this box and he just plops it on the desk and he goes, it's pre-workout. Like kind of talking to me like, come on, you fucking moron. It's pre-workout. He goes, this isn't New York City. It's not drugs. And I'm like, all right, you know, I was just trying to help, sorry. So, you know, took a deep breath, let it go. And then I walked to my car. And as I went to my car, I noticed that I left my water bottle behind. So I had to march my ass back into the gym, face this man who gave me shit for leaving the water bottle behind. And then I just said, thank you. And I went on my way. And all in all, like I don't really have negative gym experiences ever. And this all just felt like it was one thing after the other. You know, the steam room is a weird place, especially as a gay man. The steam room sauna situation usually has more of a cruisy vibe. Like I remember one time there was a guy at my gym in LA who was wearing a Speedo and the ass portion of it said bottom on it. And he was kind of like standing on the floor, like spinning in a circle, almost like peacocking and then looking out the glass, making eye contact with people and almost trying to like coax them. It was just odd, but nothing has ever quite been as odd as my steam room experience in my small town in Pennsylvania. Obviously I went back, I went back this week. It's a great gym, like I like going there and the people are usually really nice, but you know, tomorrow is the day after Thanksgiving, so it might be cursed. So I'm not so sure I'm gonna go work out, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway, because I'm so cute. And why don't you leave me a comment about any sort of weird steam room experiences you might've had, any experiences in the sauna, good or bad. Start a discussion down there and as always, any ideas you have for videos, I'm more than open to filming them. So yeah, just let me know. I hope you had a good holiday. If you live in the US and you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope it was a good one. You got to see your family, ate lots of turkey or other extraneous Thanksgiving foods. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Until next time.